Amen. God bless you there. This is the Reverend. Um, here, here again with another grace and hope moment. Um, I want to say this. Um, this is the greatest hour of the church and of the world um, of grace and hope because of Jesus Christ. Um, it's a better covenant based on better promises um, through the precious blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So look to God and His unfathomable love and grace and mercy. And, um, God can turn anything around. There's uncommon, I'm telling you, I don't care what you're going through, God can turn it around. Look to Jesus, not yourself. Look to Jesus, not, not your troubles, not your problems, not your wants and needs. Focus on Jesus, look to Him. Um, amen. And He can turn whatever that you have need of, Jesus Christ, with what He can get in there right where you are, there's hope. I don't care your jail, prison. Um, you're in the ICU, no money. I, I don't care what situation your wife left you, your kids left. Um, God can keep, He can do anything. Um, this is the greatest hour of the church in history because of um, Jesus Christ. That, that sacrifice, there's grace and hope for you today. Amen. Because He said, My grace is sufficient for you. And that's what He said. He said, My great Paul prayed, but He said, My grace. That was the answer. My grace is sufficient for you. God in His grace is able to take you through anything, a marriage, a divorce, your finances, your body, your health, your ministry. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. Amen. This is the Reverend here with another grace and hope moment. And keep hope alive. I don't care how dark it is, Jesus Christ, the light of the gospel, will come in that dark situation. He'll shine His glory on that dark situation. Amen. So thank God we can't pray. Um, and I want to say this. Um, and I'm not talking to you because you prayed a lot and went to church and you fasted and you tithe and you don't watch those movies and you don't read those books. I'm talking grace, yeah. Hope. Look to Jesus. Hope to Jesus. What He did, He He already paid that price. Look to Him and ask Him to release. He can turn it around for you. Um, there's nothing impossible with God. Jesus Christ. The light of the God, the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And remember what he said, my grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Thank God we're no longer under the law. We are living under an unprecedented move of God's grace and of the hope of God. My friend, it's never too late. God can get involved in your situation and work it around. Whatever it may be, Jesus loves you today. Amen. Um, just want to say this. Another grace and hope moment here with the Reverend. And thank God for the grace of God. And let's keep hope alive, people. I, amen. God will turn it around. Maybe in your finances. Maybe in your marriage. Maybe in your walk with God. Maybe your health. I'm telling you, God is going to turn it around. And it's not who, who, who we are. It's whose we are. Yeah. Amen. It's not who we are. It's whose we are. So God bless John Olmsteen. Amen. And Joseph Prince, I like what he said. It's not who we are, it's whose we are. Children of the Most High God. Gee, we are, we might be dysfunctional, but we're children, we're God's children. <laughs> and um, amen. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So thank God for it. I just want it's the Reverend with another grace. I'm going to be making this series all through the year, uh, Grace and Hope uh, Moments. I just want to encourage you that God loves you and maybe you haven't tithe or. You know, and I don't, I'm not saying, it's not based on your, I just sense this, not based on your righteousness. We're the righteousness of God. I, we've been sanctified. We're the righteousness of God. Now, you may not feel like it. You may not pray like it. You may not <laughs> live like it. You, know, you may not give like it. But we are the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. You know, and thank God for it. Because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ today. Well, the Reverend here with another grace and hope moment. And I want to thank God loves the Muslims and the Buddhists and the Zenists and the Jehovah Witness and the Mormons and the Lowriders and the Bloods and Crips and the Satanists. He died for you. Jesus loves you today. If you would just accept him, oh, surely, surely you can become a man and woman of God. He said on that, he said this. Your sins I remember no more. Oh, if it wasn't for God's grace and hope, I wouldn't be here today. Amen. Jesus loves you today. Another grace and hope moment with the Reverend. I hope, I hope you have a good day. God bless you in Jesus' name.